Hello everyone and welcome back to the Awesome Vapors YouTube channel. I'm Taylor and today we're going to be setting up the Aspire Guru Tank. So if you've just bought this as your new tank, hopefully this video will help you get started with this slightly unconventional direct -to lung tank. So let's open the box. And straight away you'll be able to see the tank there. We'll save that for a minute. Let's look what's underneath first. Your user manual, a bag of spare O-rings, a spare glass, and your spare coil. So your spare coil is the 0.3 ohms, which is at 40 to 50 watts. And so the one that's pre-installed already in the tank is the 0.15 which is rated for 60 to 70. So we'll get the tank out now. So as I said in the beginning this tank is a little bit unconventional in how it works. So what we're going to do first is a quarter turn on top and then pull. This will release the top cap and this is where you will fill up your tank but we'll get to that in a moment. You can see the coil is here. You can see the cotton down there. But there's no obvious way of getting it out. This doesn't unscrew anything like that. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna look for, can you see there's three bars here? So there's a shiny one, a not shiny one, then another shiny one. The one in the middle that's a different texture, grip it and pull it down. As you could see, the coil popped out. I'll do it again, put the coil back in, pull this ring down, and the coil pops out. So the coil is spring-loaded, which is good for when you're changing the coil, you can face it down into the bin and basically fire it into the bin so you don't have to get juice all over your hands. It's actually a very good system that Aspire have used. And when you take the coil out, the little doors that are at the bottom to allow the juice through actually close up. So it won't flood the tank when you take the coil out. So you can change the coil while there's still juice in it, which is really good. The only other notable thing on the outside is the airflow control, which is the top ring. It's just a standard twist. Obviously you never want it all the way closed. Um, but other than that, it's entirely up to you where you put the, the airflow. So what we'll do now is actually prime up the coil. So we'll take it out. So, to prime up your coil, get some juice. Now this is obviously a direct-to-lung tank, so you're gonna want some high VG or 7030 juice, as it's sometimes known. Then we're gonna want to put a bit of juice in all the exposed cotton we can see. So a little bit in the intakes here, like that. And then you're gonna want about three or four drops just down the middle onto the coil. You don't want too much, otherwise you'll flood the coil and no one likes that. So then what we're gonna do is put the coil back in, push it down, wait till it clicks like that, and then poke the juice through the hole. And fill up the tank. Then we will get the top cap. Just twist it around till it catches like that. And then quarter turn, and there we go. So now you're gonna to want to wait between 10 and 15 minutes just to let it soak in and let all the cotton completely absorb the juice before you put any sort of power through it. And then what I would recommend you do is if you keep the more powerful coil that's pre-installed, start it at about 60 watts. And if you decide to go for the lower powered one that's in the box, start it at about 40 watts, at least for the first hour or so of use. And then you can change it anywhere up to 70 on this one and 50 on this one. So there you go, you've now set up your Aspire Guru Tank. Hopefully you found this video useful. If you did, please feel free to leave a like, comment and subscribe to our channel. But with that said, I've been Taylor, this is Oxford Vapors, and we'll see you very soon.